What is up everybody? It's your boy Shazwi and welcome back to another video Shazwi gang yeah. How is everybody doing? I'm doing all right If you're new to this channel and you're clicking on me for the very first time Please be sure to like comment and subscribe and also turn that post notification button so that you get notified every time I upload a new video now with that being said, let's get straight into today's content. Let's go everybody <laughs> How are you all doing? I hope that you are staying safe and healthy. I hope that you're having a great week It's so great to be back it's so um, awesome to be filming a video with you guys um, so as you can tell by the title of today's video I'm going to be talking about Black Panther specifically I'm going to be talking about um, why I think Shuri should most definitely be um, the new Black Panther and so some of you may be watching this video may come across it and feel that it's maybe somewhat too soon or a little disrespectful to already talk about Black Panther 2 and all of that, you know, um, in the wake of Chadwick Boseman's death, who's, you know, um, who barely passed away a week ago. It was August 28th, and um, yeah, it's only, you know, been a couple of days since then. Um, but I think it is important to, not necessarily to move on, because you don't move on really from death, but you move with it, is I think, you know, Chadwick, um, would have wanted i mean i can't speak for him i never met him but i think it's it's okay to talk about you know his franchise and his work and what's going to happen in the future in regards to black panther 2 or any other project you know he was involved with or that he was gonna do you know what i mean um because the thing is it's not like we're speaking of him or i'm speaking of him in a negative light you know he what did what he did was so impactful and just so amazing that you know we want to continue talking about it because it's incredible and it also helps keep his you know um name in the conversation and keeping his legacy alive and it's a testament to his impact so i just wanted to put up put that out there first that um if you feel like it's somewhat too soon to be talking about this i don't think it is but anyway everyone's entitled to their own opinion <laughs> so i wanted to start off this video by watching a short clip and let's watch it together so this is actually the opening scene of black panther okay and i'll tell you why i played the scene for you so let's go in three two one click I just love the animation of this. It's amazing. Wakanda. Slavery, world wars, you tell me about it. This world is still chaotic. Coronavirus, hello. Mm. That's really cool, the animation with the sand. Yeah, so that was the clip that I wanted to show you guys. And the reason why I pulled up that clip was because in you know in order for us to engage in this conversation of like why i feel like shuri should be the next new black panther you know um you know we should understand and answer the question of okay what does it take to become the black panther is it just only people within the royal family who have to be the black panther or is it open to pretty much anyone <laughs> Um, so from watching the opening scene, you can pretty much see that um, the first person who became the Black Panther, he was chosen by the goddess, right? Or the god, I think it's the goddess, uh, the Black Panther, right? And it wasn't based off of the fact that the person was of royal lineage or 
of anything that made them special or unique from anyone else. It was just deemed on the basis of your worthiness. And it just so happened that as time went on, the Black Panther kept on being passed down uh, within that specific generation. Um, it could have been passed down to random people, but it was just easier for it to be passed down through the royal uh, through the royal bloodline because when the person became the Black Panther, they also became the king of uh, the king of Wakanda. So that's uh, so that's pretty much makes sense why um, we see that with Black Panther, it's from one king to the next to the next to the next, right? Um, I wonder if they've if there've ever been any like female Black Panthers. Like what if you have a family whereby the first child is a you know a girl? Doesn't mean that she becomes the Black Panther. I don't know if there's ever been a female one. I don't really think so. But according to the comics, Shuri does become Black Panther at some point. And that's what I wanted to talk about and that's what I feel like Black Panther 2 should you know should be like because you know what happened with Chadwick is obviously you know horrible and you know um it's sad and um obviously you know it's affected the story but there is something that can be done um in the wake of that that was already like you know um said in the comics so that's the advantage of these kind of movies whereby it's like a franchise based off of something that was already written you know is that you can just always look to the comics and see what was done in there and you can bring it to life in the same way it doesn't have to be in the exact same format the same dialogue or whatever but you know you can pretty much have that same sort of like you know um structure and then you can you know alternate it to whatever you want it to be um because at the end of the day black panther 2 doesn't have to necessarily follow the comics and be the same way but it would make sense if that's what happened i think it would be a disappointment if shuri didn't become the black panther and so let's just quickly go over how she actually does become the black panther in the marvel comics so i actually pulled it up here i didn't i haven't read any of these comics um, I didn't really grow up reading comics anyway. Um, it was just more of just, you know, watching the movies or just Googling like the Wikipedia or Marvelpedia version of the stories. But I wanted to look up like how actually Shuri became Black Panther. So according to the official Marvel website, um, Shuri first became Black Panther in Black Panther 2009 number one edition. So this was, um, so this was during the Dark Reign era um yeah during the dark rain era of the black panther series that was launched in 2008 so the the official comic came out in 2009 and you can see on the comic book cover that's actually um shuri as black panther and obviously she's looking you know sexy and everything she looks great she's got her jewelry and i like how she has the whole i don't know if that's a fit a fur or feather thing on like her shoulder and then there's an actual black panther behind her so as you can tell the aesthetic and the look of everything should look insane like should look amazing and what would make shuri a perfect black panther is um she's already an incredibly intelligent young lady she you know is so smart so technologically savvy more savvy than any person in the marvel world i think the only person when it comes to technology who could rival her is tony stark but you know she figured out how to remove a time stone safely from vision and all that stuff if you remember the scene in um, infinity war when like the war has started at wakanda and then she's the one in charge of like removing the thing from vision and she's talking to like Bruce Banner and she says you know basically she's like sort of like not patronizing him but like condescendingly is like yeah this is how you do it duh like making him feel stupid and she's so young you know because I think she is like only in her late teens or something like she's really young so it's just awesome to see someone of her age especially a young woman of color just you know telling these older guys who like their whole career has been in science that you've been doing your shit wrong it's just the funniest thing <laughs> so obviously you know she's funny witty she's super smart you know she's a genius and you know she's also really creative if you watched 
the Black Panther, the place where Shuri works, you could tell that she's also got a creative edge to her. Her music taste is impeccable. Her style is great. She designed all of Black Panther's costumes. So it, it would be awesome to really see her just, you know, um, it, it, she, it'll kind of give you like a, a Batman kind of vibe in the sense of you have her being the superhero, but also at the same time she goes back to her lair and she's the person who's also in charge of making her own gadgets and all that stuff. So in fact, actually, she could potentially be even a better Black Panther than what T'Challa was. You know what I mean? And that's not to disrespect Chadwick Boseman. I'm not talking about Chadwick Boseman or Letitia, right? I'm just talking about the characters in general um you know from marvel specifically um is that um it you know she has the potential of just bringing new gadgets or showing us a different way of combat etc i don't know if what i'm saying makes sense but you know there's so much potential here for an incredible story and that could really come about you know um, because the first movie was already incredible so there's a whole lot of pressure with this movie and I think they could really um, make another great Black Panther movie and possibly even top the first one if that's even possible maybe maybe not but they could still make a great movie whether or not it surpasses what the first one does I think Black Panther 2 is already has already instantly become one of the most highly anticipated films ever you know and the thing is, is that with how it's important for young people, not just young people of color, but just what it's meant for the culture and just African slash African American culture, what it means to black people and everything. I think it's definitely a film that I think is so important, a franchise that cannot be let go. So they're definitely going to move through with this. I don't think it's going to come out on its original date anymore, May 22. May 2022. I mean, I guess it could. I mean, they have to write the script around because I don't know what Ryan Coogler was planning anyway because um, Kevin Feige and none of the producers, no one knew that Chadwick um, had colon cancer. So, you know, Kevin Feige only found out actually the day that, you know, Chadwick passed away. So this was news for everybody. So there's a readjustment that has to be done for the entire cast, the producers, the directors, the president of Marvel, literally. So um, we'll see how they deal with that. But I think it's going to be good. I look forward to it. So how it actually happened um, was that um, Dr. Doom had approached. So what happened was Shuri actually wanted to become Black Panther. And so, you know, anyone can challenge um, whoever is the Black Panther at the time. And so T'Challa was challenged. There were multiple people vying for the prize. And according to this, um... A challenger um, had like literally jumped on top of you know Shuri had overpowered her and then you know T'Challa was wearing a mask he leapt over all of the challengers to win the mantle and become the Black Panther again and so what had happened was is that sometime later um, you know Shuri would go on to prove her brilliance and her bravery and then she only took the title of Black Panther when a uh, Dr. Doom you know from Fantastic Four um, Mr. Fantas uh, uh, Mr. Fantastic's brother, um, he came over and he brutally attacked T'Challa because T'Challa refused to join Norman Osborn's cabal. Norman Osborn, obviously, you know, is a bad guy, tried making the secret group. And basically, this is a group that pretty much wanted to steal vibranium from Wakanda. And so Dr. Jim was pissed off that T'Challa didn't want to be a part of it, brutally attacked him to the point of near death and so when t'challa came back to wakanda his wife storm as you know you know him and storm are married um she nurses him to health and and you know looks after his care to make sure he doesn't die and so during that time a new black panther is needed the land needs a new protector and that's when shuri came in and became the new black panther and so even just reading some of the stuff she had to go through, she proved her worthiness by walking barefoot across fire, meditated for hours in a scorpion pit, and even free climbed the mountain that was home to the heart-shaped um, herbs, the ones that give you the power. So it's it's amazing, like just reading all of this, and if, and if you've read the actual comic, um, I think it's the makings of an incredible movie yet again. You know what I mean? Because I think it's important to note that women can be badass as well just as much as the guys they can 
you know, do kick-ass roles. It can be grimy, it can be awesome. And everyone already loves Shuri anyway, you know what I mean? She's a much-loved Disney princess. She's super cool. So um, I 100% think she should be the next Black Panther and that they should follow the comics, you know what I mean? As to the events of the movie, exactly what's going to happen, I don't know what's going to happen. They don't have to do it word for word. You know, Ryan Coogler can, you know, put his own twist on things. I'm pretty sure he did put a twist with the first movie. Maybe, maybe not. So, um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Also, I don't think they should bring back Killmonger. That's stupid. That shouldn't happen at all. This is no shade to Michael B. Jordan. It says that that just wouldn't make sense for the story. Like, the Killmonger thing is done. It's over. We need a new villain, you know, um, and a lot of people don't even consider Killmonger a villain anyway, so... We need a whole new storyline and this is going to be juicy. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about, you know, the new uh, Black Panther 2, what theories you have, how you think it's going to be. And also, um, may his blessed soul rest in peace to Chadwick. Um, sending my condolences to his family and friends. Um, and um, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Okay, guys, I'll see you guys um, on the very next video. I uh, love you guys so much. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate your viewership. And feel free to share the channel. I feel like I'm being repetitive, but I don't know. It's just me. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.